Hallelujah. Bwana sifiwe. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Amen. Let's be upstanding in the presence of the Lord and look around to your neighbor and wish them a happy Easter Sunday. Come on, shake somebody's hand around you. A happy, happy Easter Sunday. He is risen. He is risen. Come on, church. Hallelujah. It's a day to celebrate the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He's not in the grave anymore. Won the victory. You have won the victory. Lift your voice. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Because you're the reason, King. You are the reason, King. Today you sit in majesty. Seated in majesty. You are the reason, King. You are the Can we proclaim it one more time? King. Church of God. Sing hallelujah. Lift your voice one more time and say, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He has done it for me. One more time and say, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You have won it for me. Is one the victory? 
victory. He reigns on our God is risen. He's alive. He's alive. He's won the victory. He reigns on high. He reigns on Ah, God is risen. Come on, church, proclaim He's alive. He's alive. He's won the victory. He reigns on high. Ah, God is risen. He's alive. He's won the victory. Lift your voice and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. You have won it all for me. Death could not, death could not hold you down. You are the reason. Seated in majesty, you are the reason, King. You are the reason, King. Come on, lift up your voice and celebrate Him. He's risen today. Hallelujah! Come on, celebrate Him one more time. Nehemiah Golgotha.
wa sana si ku fahamu badu bema hema ya ke ku wa ili mo fika moyo wa
pamokozi kwa patikana ukombozi ni kazi ya thamani yake Yesu salabani pamokozi salabani pamokozi kwa patikana ukombozi ni kazi ya thamani yake Yesu oh msalabani pamokozi msalabani
Let me see by show of heart if you have confidence that the Lord has risen and he has risen for you and me today. Hallelujah. Come on, give a shout to the King of Kings. Jesus, we bless your name. We bless your name, Jesus. We adore your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we bless your name, Jesus. Oh Lord, you've sought me. You know my way. Even when I fail you, I know you love me. Your holy presence, your holy presence surrounding me, surrounding me. season in every season yes I know I know you love me yes I know I know you love me ah the cross ah the cross I call my knees where your blood was shed for me there's no
salvation, Jesus. Thank you for setting me free today. Thank you for lifting me high. Oh, you have overcome the grave so that I can be alive. Feel the highest place. What can separate me? Can you just meditate on it? Tell him, Lord, at the cross I bow my knee. That is when I find hope. Before him, tell God, thank you for the sacrifice you gave for me on the cross. Now today I am alive because of you, Lord. Thank you for the love you have risen, Lord. You have risen with hope. You have risen with peace. You have risen with healing. You have risen, Lord, to set us free, to save us, Jesus. We are whole today because of you, Lord. We are redeemed because of you, Jesus. You are lifted high. No one like you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. I know you love us and we love you right back, Jesus. Thank you for the work of the cross, Jesus. Thank you for the love, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, this morning. Thank you for the blood that was shed at the cross for our victory. We bless you this morning, oh God. You paid the price for us. We worship you this morning, oh God. We pour our hearts to you this morning. We declare that you are our Lord. What manner of love have you showed us that you went to the cross for us? Who oh, we were yet sinners, you died for us. This morning, oh Lord, we have come to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the price you paid at the cross. Thank you for this victory that you've given unto us, oh God, this morning. And we celebrate, Lord, your victory. We celebrate for conquering it for us, oh God. The Lord God, you've overcome the, cro the grave. You've overcome death, Lord, this morning. And we've come to say thank you, King of glory. Receive all adoration. Receive all praise, oh Lord. Receive the highest praise. We exalt you in this place this morning because you did it for us, oh God. Oh, hallelujah, church. Let's go before the Lord and worship him this morning. Let's love him more, oh God, this morning. Let's give him all exaltation that is what it you his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, you took our pain. Father, you bore our suffering, oh God. You took our place. You appeared for your transgressions, oh Father. Oh Lord, you are crushed for our iniquities, oh God. You took our place at the cross. We were the ones to die, but you took our place. You are punished for the peace that we enjoy this morning in this place. Lord, you are chastised for our peace this morning. And we've come to say thank you, oh God. Oh Lord, you are despised and rejected that we may be accepted this morning. Oh God, you are called cast, that we may be called blessing in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you suffered many wounds, oh God, that this morning we can claim our healing in this place. Father, we bless your name. We bless your name, oh God. You took our place at the cross. And this morning we can declare that we have power of the cross, the power that came by your blood, oh God. And this morning we rejoice that we walk in this power, the power of our Lord Jesus Christ.
and he paid for us. Father, we bless your name. Oh God, we honor you this morning. What manner of love that you've showed us this morning. Oh God. We've come just to bow down and say thank you because you've overcome it for us, oh God. You've overcome the grave. You've overcome the death for us. You've overcome the sin for us that easily entangles us. And to, today, this morning, Lord, we say we are victorious because of your name. The name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and everything shall, con thank, shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And so, Lord, receive praise this morning. Receive all adoration, oh God. Let's give a hand clap to the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friends, in that mood of prayer, we'd like to remember our dear ones that are going through difficult moments this morning. We have some that are sick and some that are bereaved in our midst. We would like to lift Hansel's father to the Lord who is unwell. We also re remember Lewis Njau who is unwell this morning. We also re remember sister to Elizabeth Wanja who is unwell. We also want to pray for Margaret Odongo our former head leadership, who is unwell. And baby Bridget Anyona, who is admitted at hospital. Church, we'd like to join our faith, even with as many as in this ministry this morning, who are unwell, and their names have not been forwarded to us this morning. We want to join our faith that by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. Let's claim this promise upon every name that you remember this morning. Father God, we thank you that when we come to you, you hear us and answer us with power. Oh God, we thank you that by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. And this morning, oh God, we join our faith with many in this sanctuary, oh God, to lift our dear ones before you. The Lord God, you may hear from your throne of grace and cause a healing virtue upon their lives, oh God. Father, we thank you for Hansel's father. Would you heal this man in the name of Jesus? Thank you for your servant, Lewis Njau, oh God. Father, we pray for total healing from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet in the name of Jesus. Remember, sister to Elizabeth, oh God, would you cause divine healing at every part of our body in the name of Jesus? Thank you for Margaret, oh God. You're healing this your daughter in the name of Jesus. Thank you for child Bridget in the name of Jesus admitted in hospital. We know God that Lord you are not limited to distance and Lord we want to send a healing virtue even to this child Lord in that hospital bed this morning. The Lord God would you raise him up, raise her up in the name of Jesus because Lord you've paid the price for us. By the stripes that you pay, you suffered oh God we declare healing upon your children this morning. Father, do it, Lord, the glory and honor of your holy name. And many of God in our midst this morning that are feeling unwell. Father, touch them, Lord. Every place that are hurting, oh God. Even many that are feeling rejected this morning, oh God. You are rejected that you may be accepted. We declare acceptance and, and good embrace of God, of our Lord Jesus Christ. And many that have lost the way, Lord, you know that, Lord, you showed the way. You went to the cross to show the way for us, the way to salvation. And so, Lord, help us this morning to open our hearts, oh God, as many as we are, even to realize the love that you, you have for us, Lord. And we're embracing you this morning. We love you this morning, King of glory. For the rest of the service, oh God, we commend it to you and ask you, Lord, would you have your way and minister to us, oh God, even through the minister of the children this morning, oh God. As you raise these angelic voices to you, Lord, 
Would you accept our praises, O oh God, in this place? And cause a blessing upon us, Lord. Come on, a blessing upon us, O oh God. A blessing of victory, a blessing of deliverance, a blessing of prosperity, O oh Lord, upon us. Because you've come to the Lord, our Father. Receive praise. Receive all adoration. Even for the water shall come forth, Lord, later in the hour, Lord. May we have a, a receptive heart, Lord, that we may be minister to you to be more like Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus. We bless you and we honor you. Thank you, Lord, even for the exploits, Lord, that we hear in Kericho. We give you praise, O oh God, for moving in that place, O oh God. You're saving your people, O oh God. O oh God, we thank you for the many souls that we've registered, Lord, in Kericho Mission. And thank you for being with our missioners, O oh God, and be, for using each one of them, even in that vineyard in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. Bless your people this morning. We speak a blessing upon your people, Lord. The Lord, even in this season, we shall walk victorious because you've conquered it for us at the cross. We thank and we bless you. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. And everyone say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hey, congregation, you can just celebrate the King of Kings. He has been faithful. He has been a good God. He has been excellent in all his ways. We bless you, Jesus. We honor you. Hallelujah. So I would want us to appreciate this team that is before us, the children's choir and the main team. Can we celebrate them as they are taking their seats? So I want you to turn to your neighbor. Tell them something you remember about Easter. Speak to them. Remind them. Probably they are not even in remembrance. They need to. So I'm interested to know what is it that they told you? Because me, I have something. There's something that just dawned on me, something quite beautiful, that what manner of love is this, that a friend would lay his life, hallelujah, for me, me who I'm not sure I even deserve it, hallelujah, the people that should have been died for, I could not have cut it, I would not have found myself in that number, hallelujah, because of so many things, but there's something beautiful. He did not die for me because of, it was despite of, what were kizungu, I know you understand this. It was not because of, because if it was because of, I didn't have the because of. Hallelujah. It was despite of. Hallelujah. Despite of who I am, his mercies and his grace were sufficient. Praise the name of the Lord. And in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 and 16, it reminds us that for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every single way. Hallelujah. Just as we are yet without sin. So we should approach the throne of God. Or rather, the throne of grace. The Bible says the throne of grace. So that we may receive mercy and find grace 
to help us in our time of need. Hallelujah. So I'm giving you two seconds of just silence. Remember we have a high priest who sympathizes with our weaknesses. I don't know what is that that you carried to the house of God. Present it. He knows it. He, he can hear it. He can sympathize with it. He can even relate with it. Just speak to him. Just two, two, two minutes. They are in. Is it a burden of sin that you need to lay at his feet? Kindly just do it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the assurance of your salvation. Thank you that when I approach your throne of grace with my weaknesses, with all that I carry, you are willing to take it all and give me a yoke that is easier to carry. So I want you to be on your feet. You want to celebrate this, Jesus. This king of kings, this high priest seated at the right hand of the father. That is where we get freedom. Praise the name of the Lord. It is not only in death and resurrection. It is also in where he's seated to date and governing. Hallelujah. And acting as our advocate, acting as our high priest. Praise the name of the Lord. So I want us to celebrate the king of kings, everlasting Lord. Hallelujah. So are we ready? So in the count of three, I want you to celebrate Jesus. Lift his holy name. Hallelujah. One, two, three. Hallelujah. We bless you, King of Kings. We honor you, Jesus. We lift your name high up. Hosanna in the highest. Hallelujah. We bless you, King of Kings. We bless you, Jesus. And now you can take your seats. So welcome to Sitam Gong, where Christ is the answer. So we would want to acknowledge a very special kind of people. We start with the, our online congregation. Uh, thank you for joining us from wherever you are. We are sending love. We are sending the good things that we are enjoying here. I hope you are enjoying with us. Hallelujah. Because the presence of God is here with us. And also, if it is your first time to be with us in Sitam Gong, you can show me by lifting your hand. We love visitors. If it is your very first time, do we have them? I, yes, we have one. You can take, you can stand. Kindly stand so that I can see you from where I'm at. We want to celebrate you. We want to welcome you in our family. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming. Thank you for visiting with us upstairs to Konawageni. No, not really. So I'm sure there's somebody who is going to reach out to you. But also if you're visiting, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if you're visiting because you came to see your family, Karibu sana sita mgong. And uh, when you go back, kindly carry our greetings, okay? And testify on our behalf, we are a church that loves God. Hallelujah. Tuko pamoja. We are a church that? Thank you. The second thing, if you're here and you are just searching for a place to worship, make that your seat. Amen? Because congregation, what do you want to tell them you are? Your search for a church has come to a blessed end. Hallelujah. Amen. So, something else. I want us to get into a time of giving. And just before we go, we start giving rather. I would want us to just make this prayer and then media team, you're going to give us the announcements. Dear Jesus, we approach your throne of grace today. We have gifts. We have offerings. We have tithes that we are presenting to you. And God, may it be pleasing to you. And God, as it is doing your work, may it please you, God, that we want to be partakers of growing your kingdom. And God, for them that do not have something to give, 
God, I pray that you bless them and increase them, oh God. In Jesus' name we do pray, trusting and believing. Amen. Children, money for Jesus. Media team, you can roll out the announcements. Thank you for joining us today at Sitem Gong, where Christ is the answer. Our theme for the year is taking new territories from Romans chapter 15 and verse 20. It has always been my ambition to preach the gospel where Christ was not known so that I would not be building on someone else's foundation. Do you belong to a safari group? These are small groups consisting of our members that meet weekly to study God's word at a venue in your locality. Safari groups collaborates with the church leadership and the pastors to offer immediate and continuous care in times of need. Sign up today at the information desk. Do you want to become a member of CETAM? Enroll for the Safari Enter classes covering understanding salvation, learning how to pray, hearing God's voice, how to study God's word, participating in the church beginning on the 7th of April from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. every Sunday at the new school block PP2 Blue. Please register the information desk. The CED department invites you for Safari Enlist 1 covering understanding the call to serve, understanding your spiritual gifts, identifying and developing your spiritual gifts, passion and attitude for service, discovering and utilizing your abilities and talents, appreciating your unique personality, utilizing personal life experiences for service beginning on the 7th of April from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. every Sunday at the new school block PP2 Blue. Please register at the information desk. The CD department invites you to register for water baptism on 14th April after the second service. There will be a class on the same day from 8.30 a.m. at the conference hall. Kindly register at the information desk. We will be having a Bible reading marathon from Monday, April 22nd to Saturday, the 27th of April. Kindly take note of these days and plan to attend. Notice is hereby given that the following have been chosen to represent the church in the RAGM and ADC. 1. Deacon nominee Harry Fonjo. 2. Elder to serve a second term John Kiplimo. 3. ADC delegates as posted on the church notice board. If anyone has any just cause why any of these individuals may not represent Sitam Gong in the said capacity, kindly inform the senior pastor in writing. Notice is hereby given that the Southern Regional Annual General Meeting RAGM for Christ is the Answer Ministries will be held on Saturday 6 April 2024 starting from 9 a.m. The meeting will be a hybrid meeting with members attending either in person at Sitem Gong or virtually through a Zoom link which shall be provided and circulated before the said meeting. The agenda for the meeting is as follows. Prayer and Devotion Reading of the notice convening the meeting, welcome and introductions, confirmation of minutes for the Southern RAGM held on 25th March 2023, matters arising from the minutes of the 25th March 2023 RAGM, presentation of the Regional Overseer's Report and its adoption, presentation of the Chairman's Report, presentation of the final accounts of the Church for the year ended 31st December 2023. Notification of proposed deacon board members, notification of proposed elders, ratification of elders for the ADC elected by the Southern Region Eligible Assemblies, any other business concerning the region for which notice shall have been received at least seven days prior to the RAGM. All AOBs to be sent to admin at CTAM.org. Kindly note, all registered CTAM members in the Southern Region, that is CTAM Karen, CTAM Gong, Sitam Buruburu, Sitam Adi River, Sitam Mbakasi, Sitam Mangata Rungai, Sitam Rikitengela, Sitam Kangundo Road, Sitam Mombasa, Sitam Siokimau, Sitam Machakos, and the Sitam Fellowship Meeting at Wate Makueni are invited to attend. Two Sitam financial accounts will be available for perusal in an RGM documents link to be provided before the meeting. Yours in his service, Deacon Martin Munyu. Secretary to the Deacon Board and Church Secretary. Please note, all registered members in Sitem Gong and the Southern Region of Sitem are encouraged to attend this crucial governance meeting, a Southern Region Annual General Meeting. 
The Deacon Board has scheduled and hereby gives notice that the 5th Regional Annual General Meetings, RAGMs, for the year ended 31st December 2023 will be held both in person and virtually through a Zoom link to be provided for each RAGM for the following dates. Southern Region, which covers Sitam Karen, Athi River, Ngong, Buruburu, Embakasi, Rongai, Kagundo Road, Kitengela, Mombasa, Machakos and Siokimau on 6th of April 2024 starting at 9 a.m. East African time. Sitam East Timor will also join this RAGM. All SITAM registered members are eligible to attend their respective regional meetings. Any AOBs covering the regional matters should be sent to admin at SITAM.org to be received at least seven days before the meeting. God bless you as you plan to attend these governance meetings for the ministry. Under the hand of Deacon Martin Munyu, Church Secretary. The SITAM Southern Region presents the Youth Conference for all teens and youth. Mark your calendars for the 17th to the 19th of April 2024 at SITAM Karen with the hashtag Youth Takeover. Feel at home in God's presence with power-packed worship, anointed ministry and top-notch sessions. Koso Chekwe. Special greetings to you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. What a great joy and privilege it is for us to be alive today and to see the kind of things that we are seeing. Indeed, we live in moments uh, that God is at work uh, both in our lives as individuals but also in Satan wide as a ministry. We've seen uh, his favor as we've initiated uh, uh, new congregations uh, and uh, the way those congregations have grown in numbers uh, at the same time, our older congregations are getting established and uh, we are seeing the Lord intervening as the numbers also grow among the older congregations. Uh, this is a, a sign that God is with us and more and more we are moving towards each county as slowly by slowly the Lord gives us the opportunity to begin taking new territories uh, in county headquarters. Uh, and uh, more recently, we have uh, begun uh, reflecting again on what the Lord started to do a few years ago. We had embarked on a project that we called uh, Moving the Ark, which was an initiative to establish uh, our assemblies, at least five of them, in uh, sanctuaries and buildings. We were able to do two, Sitam Gong and Sitam Parklands, but then uh, we were not able to continue. And currently we are in a state where we want to move 23 of our assemblies into more permanent buildings, and we feel it is doable. in this place, the number of people have witnessed the number of people increasing as a result of which you find that uh, this created a challenge of parking facilities. We do not have any more space left in the tent. Congregants are following services from outside the tents and online, and it's very hot. I cannot wait for the new sanctuary where there will be more space for everybody. We are squeezed in our current premises. With the bigger premises, we'll be able to reach more people and even accommodate more people. We are looking forward to a time when we can permanently own this facility and as soon as possible so that we can now put up permanent structures and plan adequately for the growth of the church. The church was launched on the 9th of June in the year 2019. We are, from then until now, hosted at the Green Garden School in Kikuyu Town. Uh, the numbers have risen, and I would bet where the numbers, where the church would have grown much more numerically if we had our own space that is sufficient and a bit expanded. Sitam has about uh, 60,000 members, and if we only had 25,000 members of Sitam, making a commitment uh, that each of them was going to give 50,000 shillings per year within 
a short period of time. As a matter of fact, uh, if we get 50,000 per year and another 50,000 per year, in two years' time, 25,000 people actively participating, we actually would be able to raise 2.5 billion shillings. And if we are able to raise 2.5 billion shillings, we can establish all our uh, 23 assemblies, uh, both in their permanent sanctuaries, uh, but also those that do need land, will have bought land to settle them. And so we want to invite you to participate with us in this initiative that we are calling uh, Together in Generosity, that you as an individual would generously make a commitment uh, to pledge a certain amount of money that you'll give in 2024 and another amount that you'll give in 2025. And we believe within uh, two years' time, we will be able to raise 2.5 billion that we can actually use to establish all our assemblies. So do please join us. Paul the Apostle wrote and said, you will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. And may God bless you as you take step to make this commitment a reality in your life. Thank you very much. Fill the pledge form. Give via m -Pesa, check, money transfer, and cash through designated envelope. You can also give in kind. Together. 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 In generosity. In generosity. In generosity. Together in generosity. Thank you again for joining us today. We hope you are being blessed and impacted by this ministry. Follow our WhatsApp channel today and keep up with the key notices, updates, and announcements. My name is Hansel Jones. Have a blessed rest of the day and week ahead. Thank you. Thank you, media team. Um, I'll emphasize one announcement. The CED, actually it's from CED Desk. Everyone who wants to do membership class this year, Kindly note, one requirement will be enter stage. You'll have to do the safari, enter stage. So registration is happening out there, and the classes are starting from 7th of April. The classes will be happening every Sunday from 7th of April. They will clarify till when? From 9 to 11 a.m. So in front of us, we have Jail Choir. Kindly just give them a warm clap. Team,
Thank you, thank you, Jail Choir. We can appreciate them. So we are having the Cantata team coming up. And um, as they are coming up, I want us to remove your phone. Eh? Go to WhatsApp. I want us to do an exercise. Remove your phone. On your top right, depends with which phone I'm using Android, what to our iPhone. Top right, there are three dots. Go to linked devices. Link a device. You have to use mobile data, okay? Scan the QR code. You will be in Sitam Gong channel. Did we do it? You will find yourself in a page, Sitam Gong. We want to connect with you, even in WhatsApp. We want you to get the information timely. Scan it. Thank you. God bless you.
You can lift your hand. time Come on, put your hands together for the children and for the Lord. Hallelujah. Lest I forget Gethsemane. Lead me back to Calvary. Hallelujah.
Jesus one more time. And we want to say all praises be to the Lord of Lords and our King he, because he is wonderful. Hallelujah. Amen. appreciate the contented team, the children, the women's choir, and the main choir. May the Lord bless you for refreshing us this morning. Amen. Welcome to church this morning. This is an Easter Sunday. May this Sunday inspire you to new hope of happiness prosperity and abundance and that is received through Christ Jesus by his grace. Amen. Mine will be very brief. Um, I'll take you through a small, I'm told it's a sermonette. And the scholars will say it doesn't go beyond 15 minutes. Um, pray for grace. This morning, so I only have 15 minutes starting now. 
It's good to see you in the house. Bona sifiwe. My name is Gertrude Tanki. I'm born again. I love the Lord. Walking in high dependence of his grace. Wherever I go, whatever I do, whatever I think, whatever I do, everything is around his grace. And I hope that this morning you will be blessed. As we look at the power of his resurrection this morning. Some movement, but we'll allow them to. We look at the story of Jesus. I know today is um, a great day that we all celebrate. However, my encouragement to you as a child of God, this should be a daily celebration in your heart. For the power of Christ is a daily encounter with him. And uh, I draw to the scriptures of Matthew 27 and also Matthew 28, part of it, 1 to 10. As we all know that Jesus died on Friday, or Jesus died, and uh, in that story in Matthew 27, we actually see that there was one, it's recorded, there is one man called Joseph who boldly um, appeared before Pilate to actually ask for the body of Christ. I found this to be very interesting, uh, gentlemen. It's recorded he was one of the disciples. Um, I don't know much about his life story, but he looks like he was such an intelligent man that he had prepared even where he was going to be laid if in the event he died before Jesus. He actually prepared the tomb well in advance. And also, he had a white robe, if you read um, Matthew 27. This gentleman had the courage to go to Pilate to ask for this body. What amazed me is that Pilate granted permission for Jesus to be taken by Joseph. It seems like the other disciples were not very ready for this occurrence. But this particular time it's recorded that he took the body, he even wrapped it with the white linen. Um, and then put, uh, put him to lay on the tomb and that there was a big stone that covered the tomb. Brothers and sisters this morning, Jesus was in that place for how many days, boys and girls? How many days? Jesus died, but the tomb could not hold him any longer. When you read Matthew 28, 1 to 10, after the Sabbath at dawn, the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake for an angel of the Lord down from heaven and going to the tomb rolled back the stone. Imagine it had to take the hand of the angel and of the Lord. Okay? His appearance was the lightning and the clothes, sorry, and like lightning, his clothes were white as snow. Verse 4, it says, the guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became dead men. When you read Matthew 27, at some point, actually the soldiers went to Pilate and said, when this guy was alive, he had said he is going to rise up. He was going to be? He is going to rise up in three days. And so what the soldiers conspired was to put the G4S of that time or the KDF of that time. And they said, why don't we ensure the security? There is what? Security. So that nobody will come in and take Jesus and the body of Jesus. So at this particular point, everything had been put in place. Like in the Kenya of today, they'll say all protocol has been observed. Okay? So the G4S and KDF and everything else concerning security had been put in place. But in, verse, in Matthew 28, it says that there was a great earthquake. And that earthquake caused the stone to be rolled away. Then the appearance of the angels to Mary, and Mary Magdalene and Mary 
actually informs us that there is power in the resurrection of Christ. Mary, of course, they, from their faces you could tell, they're actually waiting to see Jesus. But the angel confirmed that he whom you're looking for is not here. He is risen. He is risen. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. That inspired me. Come and see. And Mary was the first one, and Mary Magdalene, to come and see that Jesus is risen. And the angel actually confirmed by telling them, do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen just as he had said, come and see uh, the place where he lay. Verse 7. Then go and tell the disciples. Then go and tell the disciples. He has risen from the dead. He is going ahead for you, uh, ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. And that is the angels speaking. I want to jump because of time. We want to check on the assurance, um, on, on the power of uh, the uh, resurrection. And one of the things that we need to discover is the assurance of the forgiveness of sin. I know many times as children of God, we carry so much. In this life, there's been so much to carry. Sometimes you look at your pay slip, it's not taking like what was there last year. Because 1.5 is back. Child of God, there's so many things around you and you keep on carrying unforgiveness. This morning I've come to encourage you that it has all been paid and Jesus paid it all. The resurrection proves that the penalty of our sins has been paid in full. Say paid in full. If you're coming from the community where I'm married, they normally blow their mouth. <laughs> I don't know how many of us come from that community. They show it vividly. It has been paid in full. Say paid in full. If you have a neighbor next to you, tell him it has been paid in full. The fact that God raised Jesus from the dead shows that God accepted his sacrifice and that it, is, it was fully adequate to pay the penalty of our sin. Bona si fiwen. Kuna... Kuna... Sorry, there is a small, there is no small or big sin, okay? Boys and girls, there is no small or big sin. When sometimes we break mommy's glass, we go back to mommy and say, boys and girls, we say, and the mothers, do you say, I've forgiven you? The mothers in the house, do you say, I've forgiven you, my daughter? Or you start saying, hey, ile glass ya mgeni. Today, learn that you have been forgiven. Those that I interact with, I might have stepped on your shoe. I ask for forgiveness this morning. Forgive me, oh. This is just by flesh. So the resurrection proved that the penalty of our sins have been paid in full. I want to relate this also. Sometimes when you're making a phone call, I'm a Kenyan, eh? So sometimes I make a phone call. And my actually airtime runs out. And Safaricom is gracious to say, you can actually continue with the call if I die one, what, one, one, something. That makes you to Fuliza. If you don't know the word, the word of Fuliza. So you Fuliza airtime and you continue talking. The next time you reload your credit, it tells you your balance has been paid in. Kenya. Or maybe in your transactions, your business transactions, you happen to have paid beyond what was in your actual M-Pesa balance. And then one day or sometime, somebody pays you more than enough. And the M-Pesa balance shows it has been paid in. It has been paid in for your sins have been paid in full. 
The power of resurrection comes to validate the word of God. Child of God, this morning, we need to arise to the understanding that as we celebrate the resurrection of Christ, the power of his word is true to us. We can stand, we can walk, we can talk because the word of God provides the credibility to what he has been saying to us. That's why my encouragement today is that as we celebrate uh, Easter today, it should be a daily walk with Christ. This is because of the encounter of his word is true to us every single day. When we remember the transfiguration in Matthew 17, 5 to 9, while he was still speaking, a bright cloud covered him, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my son, whom I love. With him, I am well pleased. Listen to him. That's the voice of God. When the disciples heard this, they fell face down to the ground, terrified. But Jesus came and touched them. Get up, he said. Don't be afraid. When they looked up, they saw only one except Jesus. As they were coming down to the mountain, Jesus instructed them, don't let anyone, uh, anyone, sorry, don't tell anyone what has, you have seen until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The reassurance of his word to us, his promises are yea and amen. So we celebrate his resurrection today because it had already been foreseen. Buona sifiwe. We continue to see in Matthew 8 and 17, this was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He, he too, sorry, he too will, uh, sorry, he took his in, our infirmity and bore our diseases. You are here, child of God, and your body is being tormented with sickness and disease. The word of God says, in Isaiah, that he took our infirmities to bore our diseases. You are healed. Believe that the word of God has come through you today, that you are healed. In Colossians 1 and 13, he has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us from the kingdom of his beloved son. This is because of what he has done in Calvary already. It has been validated through us. Many of us are being tormented. Many of us are going through challenges of life. Recently, I was, um, was uh, counseling a young, a young um, we call them young adults? Yes, those who are working, young adults. Many times they find themselves not coping with life skills that they can help them to navigate through tough times. And they find themselves taking drugs or taking, um, uh, what do we call them? Taking drugs and ho hopelessness fill their hearts. This is because they have not come to the realization of the word of God. The word of God, he says that he's delivered you. You don't have to go through that pain. You don't have to go through that pain. The deliverance is here. The power of God is here. The resurrection is here. Child of God, you are delivered. Buona sifiwe. Romans 10, 11 says, anyone who believes in him, will never be put to shame. Amen? You might not be tying all the knots together. When you look at your family, you, it might not be where you want them to be. Recently, I actually went through some um, painful occurrence where my elder brother suffered mental illness. And in this case, it was so painful. The children and the mother disowned him. And I was coordinating this affair 600 miles away on phone. And it's because there's that desperation and hopelessness that people find themselves in. Nobody would want to be in a mental status. Today, I'm talking to you. Believe the word of God has come to deliver you. One, I had to send a message of hope to the family and tell them, your father is not sick. He needs your love. 
the love of Christ that came for you, died for your sins, is the same love you need to show to your father. Your father is still your father. Whether he's in a mental sickness situation or he's in the perfect situation, he's still your father. And I went down to the children and told them, receive your father as your father. You'll get the blessings of your father. I didn't know what I was saying, but it had bothered me at some point. And I said to them, one thing that you need to know is that God came for us, for all of us. And he has saved your father. And that is my brother. My older brother. My children know about him. So at that particular point, I didn't know how much I was saying. The second call I got was from the community. Do you know the community can actually raise against you? Actually felt like instead of showing love, the community can be up in arms. Asking, you're not taking care of this brother. You say you actually go to church. How can you show your love to your brother? And I actually responded and I said, my brother is not sick. He is already healed. I was confessing healing. And today, my brother is receiving healing. He's already in a recovery unit. But one thing I wanted to let you know, sometimes the community can be against you. Some people in your house can be against you. Take heart, child of God. The power of the resurrection is here today. It will touch you. It will free you from the torment of the enemy. Bona si fiwe. The power of the resurrection has come to establish the victory that we have. Amen? It was three days. The power could not hold that stone. The power could not hold that stone. Jesus had to come out. And Jesus is risen. This established the victory over sin, over death, over Satan, and over the grave. Know that we are all victorious through Christ Jesus. Jesus arose from the grave to establish victory and allow each and everyone to be a partaker of the divine blessings. John 10.10 10 says, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that you may have life and have it in full. You're here this morning. You have no relationship with the Lord. I call upon you that you may realize the, 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 the salvation of the Lord. Come and have that relationship with him. You'll just have to confess by your mouth that you, you know Jesus and the Lord will take you in. This is made to all because Jesus came to save all mankind. The power of resurrection is by believing and receiving Jesus. I've already said that. And as I continue and close... John 11, 25, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. No one, the one who believes in me will live even though they die. Okay? Becoming a witness of his resurrection, Mary Magdalene and Mary were the first to encounter Jesus. I'm calling upon you sisters and brothers in the Lord if we can arise as we take new territories, to be the first ones among many to witness the resurrection of Christ to people that don't know Christ today will have done wonders to the Lord. I request to those who don't know Christ or to those who know and would like to give their lives to the Lord, if you declare, if you declare the with your mouth. Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You will be saved. Salvation is in the house today. The power of God is in the house today for you to experience his presence, for you to experience the power in his name. I don't know what you are actually looking for, but the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, the name that is above every other name, the name that is above every cancer, every biological misconduct, anything on this earth, 
the name of Jesus is higher than any other mis malfunction in your body. If you believe today, you shall be saved. We shall experience the presence of the Lord. You shall experience the healing of the Lord. You shall experience the deliverance of the Lord. I call upon you, brothers and sisters, to believe in his word, to believe in what he has for you today, and you shall be saved. Praise the Lord. May the Lord help us to experience him, to experience his presence, to experience his love, to experience his grace, to experience his mercy each and every single day of, his, of your life. In Jesus' name, reverend. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord God Almighty for sending his son Jesus to die on the cross of Calvary that we may know the fullness of God. And the only thing that you and I need to do is to believe in Jesus Christ that he sent. If it's salvation, you only need to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. If it is healing, you only need to believe that the chastisement upon him, that was brought upon him brought you peace, and by his wounds you are healed. The Bible tells us in Romans 8.32 that he who did not spare his own son but gave him up all for us, how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? You've heard the word of God today. How has he ministered to you? What is your need, child of God? What is your dilemma? What is causing you pain? What is weighing you down today? The spirit of God that raised Jesus from the dead is alive and present in his service. And he wants to minister to you. He wants to do you good. He wants to heal you. He wants to lift you up. He wants to deliver you. And we just invite you to come to the altar if you need prayer of any kind. And we will pray with you, the pastoral and the leadership here. We will pray with you. If you are sick, we will lay your, our hands on you. Whatever need you have, we will combine our faith with yours and trust God for intervention. Trust God to come through for you. This past Thursday, we really had an awesome present, a time in the presence of the Lord. And he really came and ministered to us in a special way. Easter is a time when we remember the power of God that was released on the cross for us. If we were not needy, Christ would not have died. But if you are needy, appropriate the power of the cross this day and let the Lord minister to you. A time for us to lay our burdens at the altar. Where are you, child of God? You need ministry. Where are you? Could we have anointing oil quickly? Bless the people of God.
place on the seat. I will be praying from up here. But let's just lay our hands on the seat in front here and believe in the power of God to touch each and every one of them to bring about healing of the spirit, healing of the body, deliverance from every stronghold of the enemy that is tying God's people, that is binding them down, that is weighing heavily on them. Father in heaven, we call upon your name. Thank you for the power that Jesus released on the cross when he conquered death. Thank you for the spirit that is might that raised Jesus from the dead and is here today in this service. Lord Jesus, we pray for an outpouring of your power. We pray for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit. O King of kings and Lord of lords, let they that have come to the front that are seeking you for healing of their bodies. Be set free right now from every form of sickness and disease in the mighty name of Jesus. We wage war against every evil power that has tied and weighed down your children in sickness. We rebuke you power of Satan that is overwhelming the children of God with sickness, with pain, with disease. We bind you right now in the name of Jesus and we declare the children of God healed and set free from the power of sickness, from the bondage of Satan. We declare healing. We declare healing. Receive your healing, Papa, in the name of Jesus. We declare wholeness over your life right now in the name of Jesus. I release the power that raised Jesus from the dead upon you right now. And declare healing upon you in Jesus' name. Receive healing, my sister, in the name of the Lord. I declare victory upon you right now in the name of Jesus. I declare release from that which is weighing you down. I release the power of the Almighty upon you in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing, daughter of God, in Jesus' name. Receive your healing, child of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing, daughter of God. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kobashikiri Sata. 
in the congregation that have been tormented and tortured by the enemy for so long, you can't even sleep at night because of the oppression of the enemy. Believe God for your deliverance right now. I command the power of evil that is tormenting you and pressing you down to flee in Jesus name I command the principalities and powers spiritual wickedness in heavenly places that are waging war against your life that are waging war against your household that are waging war against your destiny I bring them down the authority of Jesus Christ. And I set you free, child of God, from every demonic oppression. In Jesus' name. These past few weeks, we've been having our excans program here in church, and the young people have gone through a lot of training, a lot of prayer, and today they are graduating. Congregation, just give us a few minutes. Appreciate these young people that have received a lot of instructions under the feet of men of God and women of God. And we believe that a transformation is taking place in their lives and their future is secure. We want to appreciate all those who participated in this program. If you taught, you gave your time as a worker, would you want to rise up? We want to appreciate you from wherever you are. You taught this class. You prayed for them. You served them. We want to appreciate you for taking time to give unto the Lord. It is the Lord Jesus you gave to when you served this year. And so, young people, we want to pray that it shall be well with you from this day forward. Your future is sealed in Jesus Christ. Can we lift, can we stretch forth uh, our hands towards them? And we'd also want parents to join us in this prayer. If you are a parent to these young people, would you want to rise up? We want to include you also in this prayer. Parents to these young people, rise up. We want to trust God together with you for these dear ones. And church leaders and the entire congregation, let's stretch forth our hands. Father in heaven, we want to thank you for every young person that came for instruction in your house over these past many weeks. Lord, we want to believe that their hearts were touched by your word. They received training that has begun to transform their lives. So today we want to release your Holy Spirit upon each and every one of them, oh God, to complete the work of transformation 
that was planted in their hearts. Lord, we pray that that seed that was planted will grow to germinate, to produce 60-fold, to produce a hundredfold for the glory and honor of your name. We preserve these young people by the precious blood of Jesus and declare that your plans for their lives will prevail, O oh Jehovah God, that Satan will not have his way. Satan will not confuse any of them. Satan will not disrupt their future. Oh God, because their future, we are hiding in you today in the mighty name of Jesus. If there is any of them struggling in any area through the hand of the enemy, we declare healing and deliverance today upon their lives and we set them free in the name of Jesus. We want to pray for their parents every family represented here. Lord, may the power that is at work in the sanctuary today, follow them to their homes, follow them to their practices, follow them to their businesses, follow them at their place of their work, oh God, and intervene in every household according to their need. We want to thank you for the leadership of the the youth ministry through Pastor Winnie, we pray that you take them higher and higher as they commit to your service. And Lord, we release a special anointing of the Holy Ghost upon these young people and upon the families. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Young people, you are released. You may go back. And as we bring this service to a close, we want to bring to you the last uh, bands of marriage between David Ngedra Mwaura and Anne Nyandia Maina that will take place on 6th of April at the Shrine of Mary Help of Christians from 10 a.m. If you know of anything that could keep these two from being joined together in holy matrimony, kindly let us know immediately or forever hold your peace. Would you like to rise up for the benediction? And we appreciate our sister Gertrude Tanki for just ministering to us in a special way today. And we pray, daughter of God, that the Lord refresh you, renew you, and undertake for you and your family in Jesus' name. First timers in the house, we also love to appreciate you. If this is the first time you came to sit and gong, our leadership here in front want to shake your hands, bless you, and we usher you into our Karibu Lounge for refreshments that was prepared specifically for you. So first timers, do you want to come? If you are a parent to the young people that came today for the first time to sit and gong, we want to receive you into our church. We want to minister to you. And just in case you are looking for a place to make your home church, we declare that your search for a church has come to an end. You may want to consider making sit and gong your home church. But if you are passing by, send our greetings and our love to your home church. Is there anyone still remaining behind? Please just walk majestically to the front. This congregation loves visitors and we know you are a blessing. Do you want to come? Do not shy away. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Just come to the front. Come to the front and shake the hands of our leaders. And we will escort you also to our Karibu land. Yes, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. And congregation, we want to appreciate you for giving us 15 extra minutes to end this service well. This was a special Sunday when our children were ministering to
to us through the cantata. So I hope that there is no heart that is grumbling or feeling bad because we went 15 minutes extra. Are we happy? <laughs> Thank you. So may the Lord bless you, people of God. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you over this Easter weekend. And may the power of the cross be real in your life and family and everything that concerns to you. May there be a mighty release of God's anointing and grace. May the Lord turn his countenance towards you. And may he be gracious to you in a specific way in Jesus' name. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed week. Minister to someone during this holiday. Share the love of Christ with those who are around you.